Heck of a game. Heck of a game. Unbelievable game. Really competitive. Uh, proud of the way our kids competed. We're, uh, you know, the other night, we saw how close it became the other night. And tonight, you're one possession away, one stop away from finishing this one. And a uh, little freshman hit a big shot, tough shot. That was a tough contested shot. It, you know, ran off. And we had talked about trying not – we didn't want to let him touch the ball the last possession. But he ran off a little Iverson cut and got some freedom there and made a, made a big shot. And then – uh, they executed a whole lot better in overtime than we did. Uh, you know, they went five for six in overtime, and we didn't convert. Had a couple cru crucial turnovers and a couple tough shots in overtime that, that uh, uh, quite frankly, we just, we just didn't handle it well. Uh, and that's my responsibility. But uh, I, I uh, you know, I, I know it becomes redundant when you talk about how proud you are of, of, a, of a team. Uh, but I don't care how redundant it sounds, because I'm super proud of these guys, uh, how hard they competed, how hard they fought. Uh, didn't defend very well tonight. Disappointed in that. That's something we'll learn from. But uh, this is about, I mean, coming off what we've come off of, you know, this guy spent 10 hours in a bus yesterday traveling down to, you know, Tanner's father passed away, and they spent 10 hours in a bus yesterday going down to a funeral service and came back and, and, and took a scouting report and learned from it and tried to apply it to this game, found out areas we could score, and, uh, and took advantage of it. Uh, but it, it was good to see. Uh, it was good to see them being as locked in as they were to start this game. Got off to a better start today, which is something we we had preached uh, for a few days. So that was an area of improvement. And they fought so hard. And, and you, you talk about over the course of the game, we led for a minute. That was it? That's how that's how long we were ahead. But they never stopped fighting for the other 39 or the other 44. If you count over time, they didn't stop playing. They didn't stop playing. They didn't always bounce their way. Had a couple turnovers. But there's so much lessons to be learned in what they're fighting through right now. Uh, and, and I'm proud of the way they continue to fight. Uh, you know, uh, that's what the coach fans should be telling me every every single day in practice. Stay ready, man. Stay ready. Your your I mean your day, your game is is, is here, and I just stay ready. I just stay locked in in, in practice and every game, and f you know, late night shots, put up some shots because I was like kind of kind of disappointed with my shot when he threw an air ball against uh, Sander Miss. I was like, I have to be in the gym a little bit more. And uh, those four days, I was in the gym every night with our managers. They were rebounding for me. And, you know, I, I was kind of kind of confident going into to those two games, to those two home games. That's about it. This guy, uh, it's not easy to do what he's doing right now. You know, you can, he's not from Greensboro. Uh, it's not easy to come from as far as he's come as a freshman and not see as much time early on and have to deal with that when you're – few thousand miles away from home uh, like he is. But he didn't quit. He didn't stop. He kept on competing. He, and he got better and better and better and earned his right to be on the floor. He wasn't given anything. He earned his right to be out there through hard work. And uh, once again, he's just another uh, lesson in perseverance that I think our whole team displays. And he's continued to do that. And he's earned his right to be out there. And uh, he, he, he works as hard as anybody. Got rebounded the heck out of the ball tonight. You know, rebounded as hard as I thought he had 11 rebounds tonight. It's fantastic. You know, rebounded the ball better than anybody we had. Ended up rebounding the team, out-rebounding the team that, uh, you know, out-rebounds their teams by an average of six a game. We out-rebounded them tonight on the glass. So did a good job there. But really, really proud of him and Milos both uh, for the time they put in, the work they put in. They're t and these guys are freshmen. People, these guys are 18 years old. Uh, at least that's what their birth certificate says. They're 18 years old. And they're great, fantastic kids. And I'm so glad they're on our side. Quit giving up layups. I don't know how many layups we gave up tonight. You know, I, I could live with some of the four shots they were taking. You know, Jackson took some tough – he took 22 shots to get his 30 points. Uh, but we didn't do a good job of containing the ball. We, they got by us uh, off the bounce. That's why we ended up starting switching late in the game to try to contain the bounce a little bit. And uh, they got downhill on us a lot, and we didn't rotate over. We're so man conscious uh, in, in the first and second half, as a matter of fact, uh, that we didn't pull over and help on drives. Uh, but we got beat off the bounce too much, and, and they ended up shooting too many layups. If we take away layups, uncontested layups, the force contested twos, and, uh, and they make some threes, they're going to. They shoot the ball well. Uh, but if we could t go back and take away half the layups we gave up tonight, I think we're in a much better position now. Yeah, I'm so proud of my team. As you said, we went through a lot of stuff during the, the, net, the, I mean, the previous two games. We lost by, by one the, at uh, Thursday and then today at overtime. I'm so proud of these guys. I'm so proud of this this group of guys. I mean, as coach said earlier, as you walk in our, I mean, at the gym every day, every single day, you would never say that our record is, I don't know, one and 12 right now, because we're working so hard. We, I mean, we wanted to win, but just like 
it's gonna it's gonna come to us 